Ah, hello everyone, no respawns here. So I made a boat. I love boats. Right, so I really, 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 on a little tangent while we uh, move the boat into place. So I really, 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 really like boats. I get oddly excited and I don't really understand why. Um, however, boats are awesome and I hadn't actually made a houseboat. So this is my houseboat. It's kind of quite an odd one, this, because this boat is quite cramped. So it's kind of trying to kind of keep it looking believable but also kind of making enough changes that it feels justifiable. One quick note, and I don't show you this because I had to quickly fix it. I actually, midway through this, while I was building this, just raised the boat up a little bit um, by about, what, in-game, like a foot or something, a half a foot, just because when you get in the boat from there, it actually, the water's seeping in and you make splishy splashy noises, which is really distracting, so I just raised it up. But the building is exactly the same, it's just, imagine this, but... It's just a little bit raised. You don't even notice it yet. It's cool. Now, this was complex because, for one, I wanted to do like this funky little bridge, which looks awesome. But there was very little build it. The building part was really restrictive. I, I can't wait until maybe we get some more boat pieces later down the line um, in mods or whatever. But it was it was quite restrictive space wise. So I was like, okay, what can I do to kind of make the boat look like I've done shit to it, but also not look, you know, absolutely ridiculous. So here, here I'm making quite a funky li looking, a funky looking uh, thingamajig, a ramp bridge thing. I'm quite, I'm getting quite into making ramps. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> this one's actually probably one of my, it's not my favorite actually, they're all my favorites. Those barrels and all that jazz. I put that little uh, thingamajig, what do you call it? The pallet, I put that there, but I delete in a second, so I didn't bother putting in the two minutes that I spent putting that there. I was a bit umming and ahhing exactly how to actually connect it over the top. I do a pretty good job, as you'll see in a second. So I have to kind of remove this off here. And it's basically just using lots of the we um, the plywood flat floor pieces to kind of cover it up. It's... Okay, so this is... This is really, really hard to get the exact right height. And I actually show you something which I wanted to show you in previous videos, as you see right there, I'm actually going to be using, and I do use them a lot in this video, um, the glitching rugs that Andrew CX have added to the Unlock 7 Objects mod, which is just fucking awesome, because as you can see, they basically don't have to delete them. But you'll notice in a second, because I have to kind of fuck around with this quite a bit, is you'll see it's slightly raised when I've got that on and I decide to get rid of it and actually replace the one that doesn't look ridiculous. There we go. So you pop it in like that. The concrete blocks are a little bit raised up and I don't notice until I went to record the tour the first time. So you'll see it in the tour, but what I ended up doing is just literally, now that I've done all this part here, it was a very simple process of me where that rug is and where the gap you've got underneath those two concrete blocks of just pillar glitching from the water another plywood board it just went straight in I didn't have to use any rugs or anything like that and that just kind of covered up the gap um, which was quite cool see with here what I do is I just make a, like a little stack of these plywood rugs and then just pop the wee staircase under there like that which worked really really well I ended up having to do it a few times I thought I'd show you me I think I used three pieces overall it was quite a quite a nightmare but it looked cool this actually whole bridge Initially, it was something ridiculous like 35 minutes of recording because I went back and I redid bits and I was like, my whole video is going to be me making a bridge, whereas now it's only about a third of the video, which is pretty grand. I'm quite pleased by this. Ah, oh, I love boats so much. I can't believe I hadn't made a boat before. So I didn't realise, if you look in the Unlock Smell Jocks in the ceiling sections, we've got quite a lot of new kind of these little these ceiling pits uh, that with with the fabric but I didn't realize I hadn't actually paid attention to what they've actually got on the fabric so if you look at these ones here they're actually the flags and I had no idea so you've got ones which uh, see I use the American um, or the old American flag one but you've also got Institute Brotherhood of Steel um, rail, um, railroad and Minutemen and all that so that was that was quite cool I didn't realize so I'm gonna pay attention a bit from now on and actually use the faction specific ones where appropriate but because this one's the american flag just kind of fits in any minute man settlement anyway so as you can see i was 
I did kind of get really lost a little bit because I wasn't too sure because I wanted to build it up in some way to make it look like I'd done shit to it. However, I didn't want to overdo it or make it look quite silly in any way. I was a bit conscious, and I'll let you guys be the judge of it when I get to the tour at the end, where I've done where um, whether I've done enough to kind of. If you feel I could have done more, I don't know. I'm, I I like it. I really like the overall look, but I'm always conscious when I make a build video that I feel I have to kind of do more building. But I mean, this is pretty cool. I guess it's one of those kind of more complex, weird structures. Um, I'm hoping we get some more boats. Or I'm gonna. I know Andrew Six is always uploading the mod. He's like. I did so much shit recently. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> While I was making this, I went through some of the menus. Seriously, I recommend with the Unlock Settlement Objects mod to actually, every time there's an update, have a look around. There's so much stuff. As you can see in a minute, how I end up doing where I put the kind of the, the domestic, so the, the sleeping quarters of my little houseboat. I end up using these, the workshop bits, uh, what, the industrial pieces that you've seen before in, say, Warwick Homestead and places like that. I had no idea they'd been added to the menus at all. Now what I do here, now this is a little bit, and there are a few instances like this within, because as you can see the boat slopes a little bit, so I have to kind of accept not as crisp glitching as I would like. I do put a couple of concrete blocks while I'm doing the decoration later on, but I mean it's not messy. I'm quite reasonably pleased with how this has turned out here, but it's it's noticeable, I can see the kind of the slight errors I've made. Oh, not errors, I guess, just it's not as... Normally I like it more sheer, I don't like it kind of noticeably floating, but you know, what What can we do, I guess? We have to kind of use what we've got. So he, these bits here, these um kind of industrial prefabs. Now, a really big note here. So, on PS4, due to the limitations of not being able to add player scripts or anything like that, you can't get these, any of these modded structures to snap. Well, some of them you can, and some of them you can't. Like, for example, I mentioned the, the, modu the modular capsules from the Brother Steel video, you can't get them to snap. Now, that is annoying, however, there is a slight benefit of the fact they can't snap. And I've mentioned it before, you see what I'm doing is I'm using the rug glitch here, or I'm, you know, basically, for those of you, just to remind you again what this does, is if I just select this rug with uh, an item on top of it, it will bypass all of the, it'll only use the collision of the rug, so it's like a, it's like a more efficient and awesome version of the pillar glitch, but it's very situational. For example, you need a surface where the rug can actually rest, and you know, it's, it's quite complex. However, you can't do it with any snappable item. So any item that snaps together, so like, you know, traditional structure pieces, it doesn't work. It, it's just the way the game recognises the item, it won't work with anything that snaps or has a snapping so it doesn't work with door frames but because these don't snap you can rug glitch them so and you can do that with loads of the wall pieces that have been added with them i'll definitely test it out if it doesn't snap it means you can rug glitch it and that is so useful uh it's one of the few instances where it's like this is actually more useful than the snapping because it gives you a lot more flexibility as you can see right here i'm like ah oh, okay, I can actually just rug glitch these in rather than try and select all glitch them in or just kind of like manually place them in, which is very, very useful. I quite like the decoration on this one. And it has a cat as well. Spoilers, I, I put a kitty cat. I haven't th thought of a name for him yet. I also don't have not thought of a name for my ship. I was realis realising this after I recorded the last of the, the, the tour. I was like, okay, I'm, I haven't actually put a name for this ship. And no, I'm not taking suggestions, because I like to think of things myself. <laughs> People always give me suggestions when I think of names. I'm like, no, it's my mine. Fuck off. <laughs> I name my ship. God, I love boats. Oh, it's my dream, guys. It's my dream. Just give me a boat. I'm scared of the sea, but I love boats. So there we go. Also, do you see what I did right there? I can still use multiple rug chains with these invisible glitchy rugs. Which is great. For those of you who don't know, I can't be asked to go look for the link. But if you look on my playlists for building tutorials, I've got quite a detailed building glitches breakdown. If you're kind of need a refresher on how lots of these things work. But, yeah. Oh, this looks cool. I like this. Yeah. I've also got a plan for my next few builds as well. Normally, I'm... Because I'm trying to be a bit more inventive with my builds recently. I've sometimes run out of ideas, but I've actually got my next... 
two or three builds, as well as I'm also doing the Age of um, Age of the Conan Exiles um, builds as well, which will be cool, and still doing mod reviews. So we've got quite a packed schedule now. So you're going to see a, a lot more, a lot more building videos. Now this is quite a useful little technique here. I fucking love these plywood ramps so much because obviously you probably noticed me when I was walking around this boat. I was constantly getting stuck, so I can actually just comfortably just. And because of obviously the su the the surfaces between the boat are quite thick, it means that they don't snick through the pieces of the walls. So this is grand. Anyway, here it is fully decorated. As you can see, it's not kind of too overdone, I think. I'm always conscious of like, did I do enough or whatever, but as you can see, an important thing to note, for starters, that plywood piece there was the one I pillar glitched in from the, the left. Also, you see that there? Those are in the same tab as the the wood miscellaneous tab where the bridges are. And they're the Covenant uh, turret stands. Now the good thing about this, I didn't have to glitch that in at all. Those just attached to surfaces. Um, you could probably pillar glitch them in as well if you're having trouble. But that's really cool. I'm going to make use of those as well. It's quite a useful little thing, which I was quite lacking. There's my cat. He's pretty cool. Quite likes him. He's quite a funky little lad quite conscious not to over decorate this a little bit you probably notice as well it's quite cramped so I didn't want to go too over the top with the decoration I did in the workshop area and where the cat is up here for example it's, it's a little bit sparse I'm actually quite quite impressed and chuffed with myself on this one I say that pretty much every video but I think I'm trying to with my fallout builds is try and kind of push it a little bit in terms of being a little bit less conventional I guess um, and trying to have make every video kind of something unique, and I'm quite pleased with this one. And also, Spectacle Island is really starting to shape up, because this is my weird build area. So I'm like, oh, this place is pretty cool. So I hope you guys like this. Also, if you like the little workshop, all those bits and pieces, very cool. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no response. I'll have a new video up soon. Uh, next will be a Conan Exiles video, and then a Fallout video. It's going to be lots of shit going on right now. I hope you guys are enjoying the Conan Exiles stuff. I am. If you're not, well, you're still getting the Fallout content, so don't you worry. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.